Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day today. Well, it's Yamaha build day in the studio. So if all goes according to plan, we'll take our giant pile of parts, assemble it into our new high-end Pacifica, and hopefully have time to play a bunch of tones for you guys. So let's not mess about and get to it. So I've been busy since part one, and as you guys can see, I've added shielding paint to the pickup cavity and the electronics cavity. Uh, no mystery here. All you have to do is grab a paintbrush and simply paint it in and wait for it to dry. Now what we're going to do is take an extra ground wire from the volume pot of our electronics and ground it into this shielding paint. So the Yamaha obviously didn't have shielding or that ground wire. So adding that hopefully will keep everything super quiet. Now the next thing I did in preparation for the build was attaching the new Graftech nut. I wanted to make sure there was enough time for the glue to really cure before we put strings in there and you know bombed the, the trim and all that kind of stuff. Now this style of nut is a little bit different than a fender. Uh, as you guys can see the nut doesn't sit in you know, a section of rosewood, it just sits on the end. So it was very easy to remove. I just took a pair of pliers, just wiggled both sides until there was, you know, some give and then it just popped off. And then I took a dab of glue and of course, you know, set the new one in. So there you go, very easy. And uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. I love the way the shoulders are contoured on there. It just feels like very high end. So that turned out great. Let's move on. Next up, I polished the fret ends, rolled the fingerboard edges, and polished the front face of the frets. So it's nice and shiny now and should play silky smooth. That's the difference between a low-end guitar and, you know, something that's $1,500, $2,500. It's all in those small details. So when you look at the stock neck up close, you can see the fret ends are actually not too bad for a guitar in this price range. I would say they're well above average. Um, and you know, the Pacifica does have a really good reputation. Now the fretboard in between each fret is a pretty harsh line and we want to get rid of that. We want to roll the edges. Um, that's a feature you find only in high end guitars. So here is an after picture. Now, as you can see, the fret ends are like glistening and so smooth. And of course, in between each fret, you can see it's no longer a straight harsh line, but a nice roll. So those playability features, super important. And that's going to take this, you know, entry level Pacifica up to the next level. Now the last bit of prep work I did between last video and this video was soldering in the pickups. I still have two more wires to solder. I need two more grounds, one to the claw and one to the body. That should keep everything really quiet. And I need to zip tie some of these wires together. They're still a little loose. So I'm gonna zip it all together, keep it really organized, and let's get on with the build. All right, you guys, let's start by attaching our other ground wires. So I'm just gonna create a pool of solder here on the pot. And then I've got my two wires braided together because we have two grounds. So we'll just put it in the pool there. Now, as you guys can see, we've got a short ground wire that's gonna go straight into the body. And then the longer one will go to the trim claw. Now, thankfully, as you can see, they included a tab and two different spots to attach it because let's be honest, trying to solder into like solid, super thick brass uh, ain't gonna happen, at least for me. So anyway, we can uh, solder this wire into the tab. It'll get attached to the back of the claw. So really nice system. All right, you guys, we're all done with the soldering. So we've got our two attachment points ready to go. Let's move on. Now, as you guys can see, we went with our black Graftech ratio locking tuners. I think that's absolutely gonna be the right choice. Chrome would look amazing as well, but just wouldn't have that same custom look. And on this particular build, we want, you know, we want it to stand out. We want it to have that custom flair. Now, if you've never installed tuning machines, as I showed you guys last week, these are direct drop-ins. So literally all you do, Put it in, flip it over, and then you just attach the nut and the screw. And that's literally it. That's how you install, you know, super high-end locking tuners. So easy. Anybody can do that. Um, so love that. And then, yeah, just take a little socket and snug it up. There we go. Installed. So I think it looks really nice and I think it's gonna complement everything uh, really well. So there you go, neck is pretty much done. Let's move on to the body. All right, first things first, let's drill a spot to anchor our new ground. Somewhere out of the way, so this will be in between the pickups and the main cavity for the electronics. So let's go ahead, drill that. So perfect, we will anchor 
one of our grounds right there and then the other one will go through the cavity right there into the trim so we're all ready to go all right you guys here's a quick update of what the pit guard looks like on the pacifica I haven't anchored it down yet. I've got a bunch of black screws. We're going to do that, but everything is wired up. That's a huge step. Got the output jack there. Even got our strap buttons. And of course, on the back side, um, yeah, we got the ground that's going to go to the claw. So everything is wired up and ready to go. I just need to attach it. So that is our next step. But I thought I'd just give you a quick kind of overview of what it's like. Obviously, I have already got, uh, you know, strat style knobs here and a black switch tip so it's pretty much blacked out with a little you know kind of visual flair on the pickups so there we go let's move on to the next step now before we move on i just wanted to show you guys the trim system we've got something pretty interesting going on here so on the vega trim there are two set screws on either side that lock the springs into the block so you know you can bend it you can pull it you can twist it it is not going to be coming out of the block now when we look at the trim claw we also have a locking system so you attach your springs up to four of them but i'm just going to use two medium tension ones that came with the block for tens because i'm going to put 10 gauge strings on there but anyway yeah you just put the the springs in tighten that up and you can see totally locks the spring into the trim claw so completely locking system <laughs> yeah really interesting you can kind of twist it a little bit but you know bending it whatever upside down you just simply can't separate these two pieces so whether or not that you know helps with the tone or affects the tone at all i don't know uh, it'll be hard to tell one way or the other i think i'm going to do a little uh yeah test between this one and like just the stock one that you get in the guitar see if it makes a difference but anyway i just wanted to show you guys how cool that is everything is locked tight should make for an interesting build. Now, as you guys can see, I've got the Vega trim bar attached into the Pacifica using four screws. Obviously, the Pacifica had like a six screw vintage system, but the Vega trim uses four of those. And then what we're going to do is take the trim and feed it through. So, as I showed you guys, the springs kind of lock in, so no worries about dropping them or things flopping around so what we're going to do lift the back of the body and just kind of slide it down in and there's two blades on either side and then two kind of blade pockets so that's how it's going to sit and it should be you know super articulated and uh, a lot of fun to play with so let's go ahead and flip it over and then we're going to attach i guess i should have maybe pulled the trim bar off but anyway as you guys can see we're going to stretch out the strings or the springs rather and attach it into the claw next up i'm just going to take a slot screwdriver and kind of push that mechanism forward and then tighten it down so that's going to lock these ends of the spring into the claw so once that's done there we go completely locked you're not going to be able to ever you know pull that pull these guys out so very very cool system and that's how it looks on the back of the Pacifica. Let's go ahead and add the strings. Well, you guys, it's hard to believe we're at this stage already, but here we are. We're ready to add the strings. So we've got a GraphTech lock and tuners, GraphTech nut, redone neck, Lambertones pickups, new electronics, Vega trim, tone claw, everything is ready to rock so i'm going to set this thing up it's going to take a little bit to set the intonation and stuff so i'm going to do that stretch the strings i will be back to listen to some tones all right you guys it's time to test out the brand new pacifica let's just hit up some of the main tones we'll start in the neck pickup i've got sort of a light breakup on the mezza barba here <laughs> The Vega trim has no dead spots, so it doesn't matter, you know, how light you use the bar. You'll hear that articulation, so love that. And of course, it is floating, so you can do, yeah, <laughs> like all the little crickets and phlegm, uh, trim flutters. And of course it does bend both ways, right? But yeah. It can be as subtle or as, you know, intense as you want. Just has a locking collar there. So yeah, and it, of course it'll go right down to the pick guard as well. I'll use this hand. 
So you can Now obviously I just put it together and the strings are getting stretched, but let's see how in tune that is after hitting the guard a few times. Not bad. You know, there's not too many guitars that would survive, you know, hitting the guard full on a bunch of times, bending up, bending down um, on relatively fresh strings. Well, you know, like half an hour ago. So not bad. And I gotta say, these Lambert tones, very, very dynamic. They sound great. I'm just gonna tune up, see how bad it is. E's good. A's a little flat. D's a little flat. G's. Man, like, a little bit of an adjustment. So I can already tell as the parts wear in together, like the trim, uh, the nut, the locking tuners, as all these parts start to work together, you know, as a system, this thing is gonna hold tune. So anyway, let's uh, check out some other pickup positions. So four here. <laughs> Position three. Position two. And position one. So there you go, that's a little taste of that bridge pickup. That's the, the Lambert tones there um, with some kind of medium overdrive. Let's crank up the mids a bit just so that you guys can hear that. So, you know, a nice lead tone there, and then I'll take those mids back down, and that's kind of what I was using for those rhythm tracks. <laughs>
So at the end of the build, here are my final thoughts on our Pacifica. Well, love the body style on the Yamahas. A little bit more angular, a little bit more modern looking than a Strat. So very cool guitars. And of course, with that swimming pool route, you could put in two humbuckers, humbucker, single humbucker, whatever you want to do. Very flexible, simplified control, one volume, one tone, five-way switch. So very simple to use. Um, let's talk about the trem system. Every time I use the Vega trem, I fall in love all over again. So stable, so you know precise. There's no dead spots on it at all. Um, yeah, just maximum articulation. So love that. Um, yeah, and then on the back here, uh, I guess I need to get a black neck plate. I forgot to do that, so I still have the chrome one on there. But yeah. The spring claw with the locking trim here, um, very, very cool stuff. And in terms of the pickups, uh, the single coils, very, very classic Strat-like for sure. These uh, Lambertones. And if you want like a low output humbucker that will easily match with single coils, um, this Lambertone, this is the grinder. Yeah, no, this is the crema. Yeah, and you don't have to get this cover if you don't like it, you can do traditional covers, but we want sort of, um, an area that kind of makes it look really custom. So I thought that looked pretty cool. And other than that, as you guys can see, I ended up adding the string tree. So I noticed when I was testing that the first string seemed to lack a little bit of power. So I put that back on and then it sucked it down and sort of seated it firmly in the nut. And I got all that power and tone back. So it's just kind of like, you have to test it and just see how like first string and second string are sounding in relation to the other strings. And if they sound weaker, put it back on. So, you know, it was on the whole time. So as you guys could hear, it still holds tune like a beast and it's only going to get better. So yeah, that's kind of like the whole look at the Yamaha. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It's a little different than just, you know, another Strat or whatever. Um, so if you find one used um, or you have one sitting in your basement, great modding platform, ended up playing like a dream. So very happy with this guitar. Thanks for watching and coming along on this build. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All my information, uh, the master gear list and all that stuff will be down in the video description below. You can check it out there. Other than that, have a great day.